y'all. Hope y'all having a great day. The topic of the day is vibration. Your high priestess energy has been opened, and I feel like you. It looks like my camera's kind of <laughs> oily. Hold on, but you have gotten to the point now with your high priestess energy that you you feel when something is off, when someone's energy is off. One second, you guys. Okay, I think that's better. <clears throat> All right, so you can really tell when somebody's energy is off. And the first song that I got for you, or the song that I got for you was Rush by Troy Savon, which I've never heard before. This is something about people's body language, or it could be someone in particular's body language, okay? All right, so some of the word, a couple of the words, and something I wrote down when I was taking some notes was, your high priestess energy has been activated. And this, this looks like that here too. 111 on the clock. Your high priestess energy has been activated. This genie in a bottle energy. Okay, so big communication. Tell me what you want. Translate your vibration. Let your body talk. And that's the card that came out too, was the vibration card and the little, you know, star seed cards that I pull out one each day for the overall energy okay so something very important about vibration energy people's body language uh also another song um the artist stuck in a tree and i can't remember the name of the song but <clears throat> she says something like you're in love you been telling me that you're not really sure and if you had the chance to flip on me, you probably would. Okay, so I don't know if she said flip on me, but it's something like that. Okay, so <clears throat> y'all check out that song too. Um, Another song that I was hearing was that song, The Earth is Ghetto. <laughs> I wanna leave. <laughs> yeah, that song too. And I can't remember the artist of that song, but all right. So y'all might like those songs. I don't know. Okay, so, or you may feel like in that energy because you're tired of feeling everybody else's energy so strong. Okay, you're very different. Okay, so then the next lyrics of the song, I'm just going to read like another line. Let your body talk, talk to me, baby, if you want to show me what you've been scheming. And I was like, scheming? And then another note I took was they couldn't lie to you if they tried. You will know. Okay, so I don't know who this is trying to lie or it may not be that they're trying to just lie about some, maybe, well, I don't know. We got the word scheming here. So the whole song isn't really about scheming. Y'all might want to check out the whole song and listen to the lyrics, but definitely here I'm feeling like you're really good at and this is something I think with this Ten of Pentacles here or the Ten of Materials in this deck, this is something that's been passed down to you from, you know, generations. Uh, it's like it's in your DNA, this high priestess energy, which is making me want to pull some from the past life deck. All these people around these tr the tree. And, that, and then the song came in my head by the... Um, the artist stuck in a tree, but it's like S T I A T. You know, she goes by the initials, I believe. Okay, so what is up? This is very interesting. So, the first two cards I had out here for y'all, which I didn't tell you what they were, but it was the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So, all water energy so far, so far, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got the world cosmos because you're connected to infinite intelligence. You are connected to the universe. Wow. We have the muse of materials here at the bottom of the deck, which is like the king of pinnacles. And that's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. But this card for me lately has been meaning like all the see all these flowers that are in the dress and the flower on her head um it's making me feel like the flowers are representing peace like people's energy like that you feel and things that you it's like you absorb the energy of others 
or something like that. Okay, so we got the Ace of Wands coming out here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, your third eye is wide open. Okay, so we got the lovers here, Gemini energy. So you're trying to, uh, I feel like, decipher someone's energy. Like something, something must feel off about somebody's energy is what I'm feeling like so far. Okay, wow, we got the nine of emotions that came out. This was the one I was showing you on the beginning because it was on the split. Okay, the nine of emotions is the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment, a wish coming true, awakening. Wow, and I just seen five, five, five on the timer. I feel like maybe your, maybe your wish is changing here. We have this three of cups here. It's like you're wanting to connect more with other people with your soul tribe healing yourself maybe protecting your energy from somebody the will you're changing because of all these different experiences you've went through here <laughs> Dang. and you're moving quickly here with this eight of wands and ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you're moving quickly to uh, a feeling of stability where you've cut out every, this really is all beautiful energy, like where you've cut out everybody who you just don't feel right about, or you feel drained when you're around them, or you feel like their energy's off, that they're not, whatever the case may be. You've been on this journey of leaving people behind, or, you know, just move, not necessarily leaving people behind, but just going on about your business with, whatever resonates with you not so much stuck in a tree you know wow we got the ace of inspiration coming out here at the bottom of the deck with the temperance card sagittarius energy hmm patience it's like you got this something inside of you brewing up here but then it's like, slow down. <laughs> also, I'm getting here that you're being guided by some kind of spirit team here, your angels and ancestors or your higher self, whichever one it is, you know, you're being guided here. By something more than just, you know, something more. Whether it's within you, a higher aspect of yourself, Two of inspiration. Something about some goal here. Wow. It's like you had this goal to unlock the truth with this Ace of Swords and the Seven of Inspiration here. The Seven of Wands. Well, the Seven of Inspiration is the Seven of Wands in regular tarot. And a lot of times it's about blockages. But here, it's like you're, you're seeing what the blockages are and you're... It's like you're wanting to reveal things, too. Hmm. Or things are being revealed to you. Okay, we got the Hierophant here. Taurus energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So, pretty much everybody's coming out here. The six of voices, whatever you're discovering here, it's getting you out of this, like, or it did. I feel like this might be in the past. When you started following your intuition, uh, even when you saw sides of people that you, you know, you didn't want to see, or that's something that you had to go through, seeing sides of people you didn't want to see, but you just started going past that even if it meant being alone a lot yeah and so that's that's getting you into this more calmer energy here because you are really protecting your energy wow 
Okay, really protecting your energy with the Justice card here. We got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus with the Empress here. Really protecting your energy. There are a lot of people watching your work now, or they will be. Something about your work here is elevating too. It's like you're inspiring people, but they don't want to admit it. <laughs> That's a strange thing for me to say in it. Really, it's like, that's what I'm seeing here. Because I'm seeing like the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Inspiration and the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, that's what I got from that. But you don't need their validation. Okay, so we got the Hierophant again with the Three of Swords and the Page of Inspiration. And the reason why you had to start separating yourself from other people is because or yeah that's basically what i'm getting you had to separate yourself from certain people or you will so this could be past present or future energy with this look and then the stuck in a tree yeah so i do feel like that there's somebody's energy here that you're <coughs> excuse me that you're um you feel it's all Y'all definitely check out that song, uh, Stuck in a Tree, or The Artist is Stuck in a Tree. If you look her name up, you'll find the song on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, I believe. Okay, so now the song is like, the way she describes it is it's a song that'll help you to get rid of people in your life who are kind of not for your best good and i think it's true i think it's true because it's like just listen to the song you'll see what i mean uh okay but these certain people though you had to separate yourself from or you will because you have some kind of higher calling here with this page of inspiration and the higher fan it's like when you're around certain people you can't focus on you've got a goal here you've got some kind of dream and your energy's got to be pure to be able to put something out. So this is some kind of um, creative venture. It could be music or art or writing, poetry, music, books. I don't know, but it's something beautiful here. But to do this, it's like you're going to have to... Wow, look at this. I never noticed these little around the cats. You see those little like circles. It's kind of like a vibration. So you're having it. Maybe you're doing some kind of stretching or yoga here, doing something different to your hair. But also what I'm getting is uh, being around animals might help you right now or even watching animal videos. Going outside, of course, you know, we always say that. We all, but, um, and it's true, <laughs> but it's like instead of you're, you're either at this point or you're getting to this point where instead of picking up the energy off of, um, people, it could even be family with the tree. Okay. Not for everybody. And I just seen 333 on the timer, but just in getting to yourself and, listening to things reading things doing things that make you happy and the being around people so the cats can represent people too being around people who are on the same kind of vibration or wavelength as you is what i'm getting here is going to be the key to you kind of rising up this um ladder here and whatever you're doing and for some of y'all this is also this is somebody who's you know really looking down from heaven also with this empress energy here it could be a mother or a grandmother or something or one of your guides here but hierophant and the empress um you are it looks like you're going to be a teacher of some form or you may already be a teacher here with the hierophant coming up twice i feel like a big shift is coming here for, with something uh Maybe you've been feeling stuck for a while and that's about to change with the hang muse and the ten of emotions. The ten of emotions representing uh, wish fulfillment, happiness. So something's about to change that's going to make you really happy. And that could be, you know, just 
getting away from certain people. Yeah. With the Eight of Cups coming out here and the Nine of Swords, I feel like that's really, really exactly what I was saying. Like, getting away from certain people who are making, and I'm seeing 83, 38, or 89, or 98. With the eight of emotions, that's about walking away. And the nine of voice is about stressful situations. And we did have the six of swords here. So raising your vibration and getting to this something here about your career. I mean, your life in general leading to this happiness. This this could be a business. You could be end up being a leader, some kind of leader, teacher or something here. And you're going to be happy, full of joy with the nine of cups. It's really beautiful, but there are going to be certain people you're going to have to separate from here. You may have already done this or may already be feeling this. Yeah, kind of like protecting your energy here. Okay, so let's get some from the Sacred Forest. And then I'll get one from the Affirmation deck and we'll close this out. Earth, learning to be learning how to be human in the world but not of it yeah so that song the earth is ghetto yeah that that could be significant or you might like that song um i love the song but then i after listening to it a couple times i'm like okay i gotta move on because you know if i keep thinking like this i'm really gonna want to leave <laughs> oh my goodness we gotta be careful about about you know what thoughts we Put in our head over and over. Okay, Spirit Guardian of Autumn, letting go. Number 35. And I feel like that's letting go of certain friends, maybe. Or it, it may not be friends for everybody. It could be a lot, you know, because you're you're heading towards this leadership position i feel like number 39 could be significant a deer you could see a deer you might have seen one recently but um for some of y'all for a lot of y'all this is gonna be friends but it'll be different for everybody now this one was at the bottom of the deck and i didn't mention it but here we are okay so uncertainty and healing with the bear spirit and we got a deer right here too okay number 43 and number four okay so look at the difference though with all these okay this one says uncertainty and it's like i'm seeing these trees now as like a bunch of people around you that it's like your energy stuck in a tree it's like you're absorbing the energy of them okay so when you get to yourself you're gonna be you gotta get real protective of your energy with the bear here is basically what i'm saying Yeah, it's like the courage to let some people go. Number three, number 40 could be significant. I just seen more 11 again. Okay, so let's get some from the affirmations deck. I've got some, uh, I pulled some from my flashcard deck a while ago, y'all. And I'm going to, the next reading, I'll show y'all the cards that came out. The first one was high roller wrist tackle. So somebody could have a gambling issue on the next reading. That's just one of the cards though. Um, and somebody could be a witch or a warlock, but so y'all stay tuned for the next one. It seems like it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Wow. All those came out at once. Balance. Yeah. Balance is important right now. And I feel like that, uh, good grief is a lot. Okay, so you're going to be learning something new here, I feel like. And it may not be in the traditional sense. Uh, for not all education takes place in a classroom and not all learning is found within books. What speaks to your soul right here, right now? Become hungry for it. Chase after it. Immerse yourself in anything and everything there is to know about what this voice is telling you to learn. Yeah, that's really goes along with the reading. Okay, feel the range of our emotions is meant to be experienced fully, beautifully, and wholly. Yeah, 
yet we are taught to suppress the less pretty emotions for fear that they keep at bay the more desirable ones, the ones that are more pleasant to feel. But to numb one end of this spectrum is to numb the full breadth of our human experience. Allow yourself to feel it all, depth in the sorrow, heat in the anger, stuck in the impatience, radiance in the joy, lusciousness in the pleasure. And if it is any comfort, you can always remember to turn the dial up on some is to turn the dial up on all. Wow, yeah. That's really talking a lot about energy there, too. And I feel like this thing of you absorbing other people's energy is really important here. And uh, you know, you can tell by people's body language, like things that they're hiding. Okay, practice. And if you're not at this point yet, I feel like that you, you will be, you know, real soon here. Okay, so... Sitting in stillness, letting all thoughts subside. Basically, this is uh, talking about practice as far as practicing getting into a meditation habit or something like that, a time where you can get at peace with yourself. Basically, adventure or, you know, do your own research on it, but some kind of practice here to calm you. Adventure also, you know, needing to have some fun right now, maybe. That which makes your soul, okay, yeah. Make the change, take the risk, embark on the journey. You were never meant you were never meant to thrive with anything else but that which makes your soul come alive. Breathe. Notice it, gorgeous one. It is your greatest power. So accessible yet so often and easily overlooked. Your breath, yeah. Okay, so breath work could be very important right now. Meditation, you guys, so check into it. I appreciate appreciate you guys for being here and love you guys. I will be back later. Bye.